Hi, this is Adam from Ads Productions with a Sony Vegas Pro tutorial. I've decided to make these videos to help you guys out because there are many people out there that want, want to get into the world of video editing and YouTube videos and things like that, but don't know where to start with programs like these. Now, let's just be clear. Vegas Pro is a very, very simple program. It's just a bit daunting at first because it's a bit different to your normal working environment if you're an amateur video maker such as like iMovie and uh, like Windows Movie Maker and those sort of programs. Okay. So, when you first open up Sony Vegas for the first time, obviously, blah, 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 you'll not, you, this window will, will appear. You don't actually have to tamper with any of this just yet, but this is sort of like, what do you want for the moment? I would recommend any video you make on YouTube, the highest resolution you should use is 1280 by 720. <clears throat> you have to excuse me, I'm a bit ill still. But anyway, so... This is the 1280 by 720 resolution. It runs at 29.970 FPS. Many people on YouTube don't actually watch HD videos. They just click on the thumbnail and the video is playing. So it's good to have the highest resolution you can have that would work would probably be 720p. You can t you can do 1080p, but do you really want to go and render a video four times the size when no one's going to watch it in that quality? That's what I mean. So. Yeah, so just keep all this the same, uh, full resolution rendering quality, make sure you tick it to best. If you want the best quality, obviously, I'm not sure why that's an option. Resample and stretch quality, you want to change that to best. Bear in mind, this will increase the file size, so keep that in mind. Uh, that's all good. Okay, so now we press OK. And the preview window at the top right of Sony Vegas is where you're going to see your media when it's imported into this timeline. So let's go ahead and get some media. What I'm going to do is show you is use an image because I want to demonstrate another thing in a minute. So we have an image. Notice how I've just dragged that image from the uh, media bin or whatever it's called into the timeline here. So you drag it in. That's all there is to it, the timeline thing. The one thing that many people do that's a mistake is they forget to do one thing. What do you notice about this? Yep, that's the black bars on the left and right. To get rid of this is very simple and it works exactly the same way for videos as well. Just right click on the uh, uh, the media clip or whatever and untick maintain aspect ratio. That's all you have to do. Press OK and watch what happens. Boom. Simple. Some other things that might be handy to you and I've found out over the past is I haven't actually been taking advantage of these move, zooming in thing. You're tempted to scroll in and scroll out. But with these what you can do you can actually make the the media bar bigger so you can work on it much more in detail and accurate if you get what I mean um, what else to show you you can also if you have a fairly slow computer and want to render videos all you have to do is just go to preview you want to just put half what this will do is this will take the quality of the preview window down making sure your computer has enough resources to handle the editing and all that that you're going to be doing uh, anything else I could say for you? Oh yeah, uh, let's import some uh, another clip. Just get the basics. So the most commonly asked things I'm going to show you how to do. So we've got a video of me here. Let's put that in. Don't need the sound so we can do blah blah. So we've got this video here. So I start. I press play. It's just me dapping around on the camera. So, so some people will, some people will want to know how to speed up and slow down. All you have to do for that is hold down control on your keyboard and at the end of the media clip click and drag it. This will make it ultra slow motion. So if I click that again, press play, it's like slow motion. And yep, you've guessed it, vice versa. Hold it down, drag it back to the start. This will lag and the preview window will lag because it can't keep up with how fast it's going, but here we go. So what I mean, it's gone faster, but yeah. Um, anything else to tell you about the basics of Sony Vegas? Um, there's a lot, really. Uh, if if needs be, and those of you in the comments want to know a specific thing, let me know. Uh, also, that's a good thing. Notice here, I've pressed this. This is the mute button. Say, for example, you want to put music on your video. So you put, you've put your music clip in, but when you play you can hear the music and me speaking and the noises in the background. If you don't want any of the raw video files audio, all you have to do is press on this mute button right here. And also if you want to make this louder or quieter without doing 
without decreasing the gain, you can actually lower the decibels. It's minus 25, so that should be like nothing. It's very quiet. Okay. To add another video on top of another video is very easy. Just right click in this grey area down here at the bottom left and click on insert video track. Up will come a new sort of pane. I'm not sure if that's the right word, but life goes on. So let's try it. Let's get a different video. Just take one of my random videos like that one. That'll do. And now you drag your video from your media bin into the timeline. And now you have two videos that are on top of each, on top of each other. And you might be thinking, how, how come I can't see both of them? Well, that's simple. All you have to do here is you've got this little thing called track motion. So you, what when you click on track motion, this window will appear. This is the track motion for the top video layer. So if you do this, you've now made that video that you've put on top a picture in picture. So you could like, the main screen could be me talking about something and then you could just go to the top layer and then move it to the right a bit. So now if I preview the media, you see there's two things going on on one screen. Hence why my computer is screaming at me and telling me to stop doing what I'm doing to the graphics. Um, anything else that might be a common question? Uh, and to insert text is fairly simple as well. You just go insert text media here. It will pop up something called a media generator this is what you're going to see you type something like hello you press the X at the top right and now somewhere on here if you use the scroll bar on the right where on earth oh there it is sorry just drag it to the to the end or whatever so you put that there now if you if you get if you click on the uh, track motion thing again but this time on this layer you can actually move hello isn't that fascinating so now I can move hello to the top. Oh, do it this way a bit. Oh, there you go. Hello. I press X. Run the media. There you go. But yeah, that's all there is to Sony Vegas on this very simple tutorial thing. This video was for two reasons really one to show you the basics very basics of Sony Vegas and two I know some of you guys are going to be asking me questions about Sony Vegas well if you're not then I won't make another video about it but if you guys want to know anything at all about Sony Vegas how to do anything like track motion whatever leave me a comment below and that will be in my video list I'm going to make this a series because many people have different issues little tiny issues with Sony Vegas and I hope to cover them cover them in as many videos as I can so thanks very much for watching and I hope you leave me some feedback and also I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, click at the top of this video, hit subscribe, leave me a comment, favourite videos, you know the deal. Thanks very much for watching, this has been Adam from Ads Productions. See you guys later, bye.